Coach, one of my favorite questions I always ask everyone because I'm big on picking guys' brain, especially those that have had a lot of success. What's your coaching philosophy? Well, here, I think at, at Rowan University in our football program, it, it always started with defense. We've had some dynamic quarterbacks. We've had some dynamic running backs and wide receivers. And face it, we live in an offensive world. That's what everybody wants to see. But I think really if you look at our program over the years, it's really been our defense. You know, and, and everybody says that defense wins championships. And, and I think what we've done is put our most dynamic, most physical, um, best players on defense. And then uh, again, if you don't let the team score, it's easy to win. You only got to score a few points. Mm -hmm. So again, I think always here, it was always talked about and always is in this world of offensive football about the spread and the huddle and scoring points and throwing the ball and doing all those things. But really it comes down to the defense. If you can stop a team and not let them score or keep the score to a bare minimum, then you have a great chance to be successful. So again, I would think my philosophy has always been, uh, and again, I was an offensive player in high school and college. I started off as an offensive coach um, and then changed when I got here to be a defensive coach. And again, I think uh, our philosophy and my philosophy is, you know, defense wins championships. Uh, in an offensive world, that's difficult. But again, that's really what we want to do. We put our most dynamic, physical, best playmakers um, on defense. And again, if you can stop a team offensively and take their heart away, which is what we try to do, more times than not, you're going to be successful. And this year was a perfect example from our 2013 season. We were winning games 7-0 and 8-0 and 9-7. And, you know, it was a, a typical Rowan team, great defense. And then, you know, enough offense to win the game. That's all you need to do. Now, you coach over... Uh, let's say a couple of errors, keep you young, let's say yeah. a couple of different football errors. Yeah. Uh, do you find playing defense now is tougher than playing defense back in the 90s? Yeah, there's no question, again, because all the rules are changed, you know, for offensive football. And again, most of it starts with the NFL because that's what's on TV and that's mm -hmm. the, the big money sport. So everything permeates down to the lower levels and even Division Three. So, you know, when they move the kickoff back, so that field possession can start deeper in your territory. Um, when you can't touch the quarterback, there's a new rule going in this year in college that you really couldn't go to the legs of the quarterback. Um, you know, again, things that in the NFL that come down, um, you know, we're still allowed to kind of hit receivers in college, not unlike the pros where you really can after right. five yards, and that's going to happen in college. Um, so it makes it difficult because everything is an offensive-minded world, and, that, and that's what everybody thinks that everybody wants to see when they go to a football game as a, you know, a 58-56 scoring bonanza. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm old-fashioned. A seven nothing, six zero, three zero. To me, that's just as exciting. But again, that's you know an older school coach. But you have to understand that's how the rules are. You know, so you're not going to be able to stop everybody all the time. You just have to try to slow people down. But it, but it is much different. It's rare to see coaches with your team here, over 25 years of coaching collegiate football. And to be at one place and have success, to be able to come back each and every year and go after it, what would, advice would you give a young coach entering his first year of coaching at any level? Yeah, and I've heard this from other coaches that mention that is, um, be the best you can be in the job you're at currently. Don't worry about trying to get to your next job. I think, and I heard that way back when I first started coaching, and coaches would tell me, you know, don't worry about your next job, concentrate on the job you're doing. And especially, again, with the young people today, you know, again, we talked about jumping from A to Z, you know, they want to be a head coach in a year or two. Well, it doesn't happen that way. You have to go through the process. Um, be the best you can be at what you're doing currently, um, regardless of what it is, whether it's mowing the lawn, you know, or keeping up your yard or your house or coaching. If that's your first job, be the best coach you can be at that time and um, be open-minded, I think, and, and uh, experience as much as you can. Um, I remember an older coach when I first got into coaching early on, he, you know, when I was an offensive player and an offensive coach, he said, you're not really going to appreciate it till you go to the other side. And really, he was correct. When I went to the defensive side, everything just seemed to make sense and click for me. 
um, because you just can't be one-sided. You have to be open-minded. So my advice to a younger coach or younger coaches would be just be the best you can be at the position you're at. Don't worry about being a head coach. Don't worry about where you're going to be five or ten years from now. Work at where you're at um, and cherish where you are. I, I joke, I got here in 93 as a graduate student and have yet to escape the place. It's a great school. We have great young men. It's a great institution. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, the, 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 your best opportunity or sometimes the best thing is what you're doing and what you're in already. You know, they always say, well, greener pastures, right, somewhere else. Sometimes that's not the case. You know, sometimes where you're at is the best job and the best place and may be it for you. So again, it, it all depends on what you're looking for, but I think young people have to understand that you need to go through a process. Be the best you can be where you are now as a coach. Be open-minded, and then that'll take you as you go through your journey. Coach, players play, coaches coach. I'm intrigued by the program now. You guys have had a lot of success. Again, growing up, all I heard was Rowan and this other school out in Ohio that shall remain nameless. But you guys were always competing for championships. What do I get if I'm a high school player looking to come to Rowan? What do I get when I come to Rowan? Well, I think first and foremost, when you're in the educational setting, it's about the education. A graduate of Rowan and the Rowan name is going to open a lot of doors for you. Uh, so first and foremost, when we talk to the high school players and young people that are thinking about coming here, we talk about the educational part. Um, we're one of only two schools in the country that have an MD and DO program. A granting medical school for MDs and DOs. It's Michigan State and Rowan University. There's only two in the country. Um, so again, if you're looking for a great education, if you're looking for at the end of your college career when you graduate an opportunity to style, start to move into the next part of your life, the Rowan University Diploma and the Rowan name is going to open a lot of doors for you and you're going to have a lot of opportunity because of the degree and what you've done here. Um, that being said too, in relation to football, we're going to play at a very high level. Um, you know, do our players go to the pros? Not necessarily. Some have over the years and have been looked, but you're going to be in a successful football program. You know, we're not going to reload every year. You're not going to have a down year. You know, the expectations here every year, again, we're playing for a conference championship. We're playing in the NCAA playoffs. We're hopefully playing for a national championship. So a player is coming into an established program where they know what they're getting into. They know the expectations are high. Uh, they know uh, the responsibilities are high, but in the same regard, they know that the results of what they do are going to be great. And again, so I think you need to understand that it's about a great education and playing great football. And I think our young men understand that when we go off and recruit. That's what we really try to tell uh, the recruits is you're going to get a great education and you're going to play some great college football. You know, we've played Division II, we've played 1AA teams, we play a very rigorous Division III schedule, so, you know, we don't shy away from anybody. You're going to play top-notch football um, at a very reasonable price because we are still a state school. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can look at some other schools, but they're going to be probably twice as what it's going to cost to go to Rowan. And again, so I think it's tailored with the education, the football program, and the success, and then the cost of the education, uh, being a parent myself and understanding that part, all those factors are going to help us find great young men that want to do great things. And I think we've been able to do that over the years. You guys have, and you guys have been extremely successful. And Coach, I know you're a busy man. I do appreciate you taking time, talking ball with the czar. Look forward to seeing you guys excel this season and hopefully get to the championship game and win it, bring it home to the state of New Jersey. It's our pleasure. Thanks.